Hey guys, Henry here from Product Creation Formula. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to turn a PLR video into an ebook. But before we go ahead and do that, I just want to let you know here at Product Creation Formula, we love to give you tips and tricks to be able to help you create your products quickly and easily. Along with that, we also do product reviews as well as tips on how to make money online. So if that's the sort of thing that interests you, how about you smash that like button as well as subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can be notified whenever we upload more videos. All right, guys, stick around to the end because there's also going to be a dad joke. Let's go check it out. First of all, to be able to turn a PLR video into an ebook, we need to be able to find some PLR videos. So I'm over here at plrdatabase.net, and I'll leave a link for this in the description down below. Now, if you have a look down here, I actually found one which is called Private Labor Rights, which is the how to start an affiliate program on WordPress. And what you can do is you can have a look here and you can see this is private labor rights. So you want to have private labor rights. Now, if you don't know the difference between private labor rights, master resale rights, as well as resale rights, private labor rights will allow you to be able to change the video to make it uniquely for you. So if you're wanting to turn a PLR video into an ebook, then you really do need to have PLR, not master resale rights or resale rights. Do not go for master resale rights or resale rights because you are not allowed to change them make sure it does say PLR or private labor rights. So now that we've got that out of the way, all you need to do is obviously download that and then you can get started. Now, assuming that you've downloaded your private labor rights video, all you really need to do now is go over to a place called otter.ai. Now, otter.ai is a fairly cheap program. You can get it for like $12.99 a month if you wish to, or $8 something a month if you're wanting to pay yearly. So anyway, what you can do is you can go over here and you can go over to where it called, says import. Now all you need to do is click on import and then you can either drop and drag some videos here or you can just go to your browse file and you can find the video you want. Now I happen to have it in the correct folder right now and if you wanted to do this all you really need to do is click on this one and as you can see by scrolling down here you can see it's now uploading but you can just you can do more than one. In fact, I'm going to grab all six of them and we just do one at a time. And what it'll do is it will grab all six of them as you do it. And as you go through, you can see it's now uploading one at a time. Now I'm going to quickly grab the rest of these. And then what we do is go ahead and continue on from where we are. I'm just going to pause the video until then. Okay, now what it does is it actually transcribes the video for you. And what you can see right here is you can see that it actually has here, it says, hello and welcome to this, to video number one. Now you might want to change that to chapter one. So all you really need to do here is go over here to edit and just close that section just there off. And then what you need to do is just press play and listen to what it actually says to make sure there's no mistakes. So all you need to do is quickly listen to it and have a look at how it goes. Hello and welcome to video number one. And we're going to talk about starting your own WordPress affiliate system. So first things first, I want to talk about the video course as a whole. And then we'll talk about the things that you will need. And Okay, so in that case, what you can see, it says video course, etc. So in this particular case, you can say hello and welcome to chapter one because remembering this is about an ebook so you can just say chapter so you can change that to chapter one and we're going to be talking about oops there's a problem connecting to the server got it okay so all you need to do is just continue going from here and just read through and as i said video course you can just click it here video, cor video course as a whole oops, we're still editing so we'll hit talk edit about the things that you will need and, and then of course we'll go back here and then and then of course we'll jump pause the video while it's doing that and then we we'll just go over here until you find the one where it says video course highlight over the top of that and say what do we want to talk about in this chapter and what you do is you go through and you have a look through and you just continue reading through changing things around to make it more appropriate for an ebook 
any mistakes you might find, any stuttering that you might find that there might be in there, which is highly unlikely, but if you do, they will also usually cut out any ums and ahs, which is really good. And you can just continue going through until you have found it. Then when you come and download this, there's a couple of things you can do. Now, I'm, in the, I'm a paid member, so you don't have to be a paid member to start off with, but I would suggest you do become a paid member later on. You just click on there and you go to export. And over here, you've got options here for say docs, you've got clipboard, text, docs, PDF, or SRT. I would suggest doing this in docs. Don't include speaker's name, don't include highlights, don't merge. So don't click any of these. You can, ex you can export it as a monologue if you wish to, because it really is a monologue. Don't include timestamps because often these will be ticked as you do it. If you don't want to have timestamps because that will just slow down your process of creating your videos later on. And then all you really need to do is hit export. And then you can export to where you want it. So I'm going to be exporting this to my desktop. And it says intro. So let's have a quick look here. Let's do it download as an as a MP3 as well. So you've got now you've got an audio part of it as well. So let's click on that and have a quick look here. And then we can have a quick look. So as you can see, it comes up as one lot of text. Okay, so you can change this up to make it look appropriate. Obviously you can change the size of the text if you wish to. So it's not looking quite so small. And as you go through, you can just go through, format it how you like it. And then when the next one comes up, you can then do that. You can also change up a lot of this stuff here because it'll say things like, you know, the date and the amount of keywords. You might want to keep the keywords somewhere. You might want to highlight that and copy it somewhere and keep it somewhere on desktop so you can use it for later on. And then all you need to do is continue along and continue to do what you are doing. Now, if you wish to, I would highly recommend that you change the video as well. And you put your own voice to it so as it becomes your words. And the thing is, the best part about it is even though you've turned this into an ebook, there is nothing stopping you from reading this out aloud and even putting it on somewhere like Pictory. In fact, tomorrow's video is going to be about Pictory and we'll even use this article on how to add your own voiceover in Pictory. Now let's go and have a look at video two. We'll have a quick look at that and we can do the same thing. Edit it, change it up to make it look like it's actually to do with an ebook. In this video, of course, we can now hit edit and do the same thing. In this chapter, well, this, this is in, okay, in this chapter, but in chapter, two, Okay, we can get rid of all this. And go back over here. There we go. You just edit it how you feel like it'll need to be edited. This will make life a lot faster for you. And you can actually have an entire ebook created in an entire day. And because you have seven chapters on it, you can easily turn this into an ebook. You say it require a bit of editing of the text that's here exporting it to where you want it and then call this one say chapter two or number two planning and keep the name of it I'd personally change the name go here hit that and just go chapter two just to make life easier for yourself because you can export it and do the same thing as we did before you can do that mp3 and we can now export chapter two and it will do the same thing and there you have it is chapter two and you can now copy this and add that to the end of this particular one. Enable editing, expand. And of course you can edit it in your Word document if you wish to. I'm just going to copy over the top of this. I'm not going to bother about editing right this very second. Just so you can get the idea of what you want to do. Now what you want to also do at this particular point is once you've copied this, place it into your other video, into your other document and place it where you want it. Yeah, Control V. 
you then want to go over here and start editing the actual video itself. And what you're going to want to do is grab some images from the video. Now, if you were to just get the video and bring it up on the screen, allow me to show you what will most likely happen. So if we were to just open this and one up, we're going to talk about and I'll just wait for that to open up and we can have a look. Hello and, and welcome to video so number one. Pause this. If you were to want to take a screenshot of anything here, you can see it's got this black area just here. It's got this really darkened area. And you've got the buttons here, and it looks like a video. You don't want that. So what you really want to do is go over to somewhere like your edi video editing software. And what I would do in this particular case is I would get something like Snipping Tool, which is right here. And then all you need to do is just go off there for one second is use the, the snipping tool and then all you need to do is go here go new by the way this comes free with microsoft office you clip on you just click there and then you just scroll over the top and just take a screenshot of that and this can then be added to your ebook in whatever chapter you happen to have this into. So whatever video this one is, so I can't recall which, which, okay, it's chapter two. So you would add this image to chapter two. Anything where it requires an image of something. So you can show this is a list of things you're doing. So as you can show that to your audience. Same with number three. I know that number three, it speaks about mind mapping. So you can then co click on that and you can have a look at this. Hello and welcome to video number three. Pause that. As you can see, it's about mind mapping. I'm going to click off that and you can add that to your video editing software. So, of course, all you need to do is just import that. However you do that in whatever type of software you might happen to have and just add that to that and then just take a screenshot of this small section here. Now, if you wish to, you can expand the size of that so as it becomes bigger. Let me just expand that up a little bit so it becomes maximum size. And then I'm going to expand the size of that up so as it takes up the biggest amount of screen and you will have a clearer image once it does that. There we go. That's good. And I will use my snipping tool. Okay, so new snip. Okay, so I'll just grab hold of this area here. Keeping inside the lines. And just include that area just there as you can see it makes it a much clearer image and will look nicer in a larger image so oops yep, don't want to keep that so that's all you really need to do okay guys and that's how you turn a video into an ebook all right guys it's now joke time a young woman says to her best friend i'm actually responsible for my father becoming a millionaire her best friend looks at her and says, Really? What was he before he was a millionaire? The young lady looks at her and says, A multi-millionaire! <laughs> Alright guys, if you like this video, please consider smashing the like button, as well as subscribing and hitting the bell icon, so you can be notified whenever we upload more videos. Hey, while you're at it, why not consider sharing, and also leave a comment down below, and let me know what you think of this video. Also, while you're at it, over here is a video that I believe you might like. Down here is a video that YouTube thinks you might like. And right here is a picture of my icon that you can click on so you can subscribe. Alright guys, thanks for watching and bye for now.